Things are about to get good. The following contest is a tag team Extreme Rules match. Introducing first from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, Brock Lasseter. Now, here's an example of someone who could maybe benefit from cooling down a little bit. What a bad temper. Corey, I completely disagree. Their tenacity has been the key to most of their success here in WWE. It's what makes them an exceptional competitor. A competitor who always has his game face on, ready for a major battle. An ominous feeling has entered the air. And representing the Brothers of Destruction from Death Valley, weighing in at 309 pounds, The Undertaker! The dead man possesses amazing in-ring skill and seemingly supernatural powers. Now he really exists in a class all of his own, standing high above the competition. A man whose reputation precedes him. A myth, a legend in this industry. Yeah, it really makes you second guess yourself when you find yourself going up against The Undertaker. as the gates of hell have just opened. Expect punishing power, devastating strikes, all courtesy of the dead man. Hall of Fame worthy dominance. And I truly believe in a matter of moments we will see yet another victim rest in peace. Here comes our tribal and chief. Representing the bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds. He is one half 
of the undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions, Roman Reigns. The Tribal Chief has faced opponents from every corner of the earth, and none of them have withstood the challenge. And at this rate, who's left? Well, it may seem impossible, but a match like tonight is an ultimate opportunity. Then reality sets in. You are facing greatness on a different level. You can love him or you can hate him, but you must acknowledge him. A certified GOAT. Reigns is now an unstoppable force. He's here and holding two championships. And from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, he is one half of the undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions, The Rock! When you're a champion, you have challengers and threats coming at you from all angles. When you're a double champion, well, I'd consider sleeping with one eye open, just in case. I'm sure he's already doing that, Corey, keeping his head on a swivel. Hauling around two titles does put a huge target on his back, though. Everyone wants a piece of him, a shot at one of those titles, but he's holding on with a vice-like grip. Extreme rules underway here. No countouts, no DQs, nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. There's no place for grace or honor in extreme rules. You have to use anything and everything you can get your hands on as a weapon, preferably before they're used on you. DDT! Elevated wrist lock. And it's The Rock with the reversal. Kick to the gut. Is it possible to avert disaster in a matchup like this? Competing in WWE is grueling enough, but when it's extreme rules and everything is legal, you are in a different level of combat. Things break down very quickly when you're only limited by your own destructive units. Looking wobbly in the corner. Here's the pump handle. Suplex! Launched. Big forearm. And that one misses the mark. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Shake your face after that one. Oh, what a clubbing blow. Oh, look at this ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. Shoulders down. And he manages to kick out in one. He is going to take this match as long and as far as he needs to. Oh, Griff, rearranging our ringside furniture here. Through the announce desk. What a mess. And there's some force on that move. Battling ringside on announce table, getting shaky. That's because Byron is quivering in fear next to me. Well, I get nervous when the fight comes out here, guys. He thinks he has it. And the rock kicks out. A little closer to getting the pinfall there, but this is still anybody's fight. Oh my gosh, what impact! And a kick! Back straight into the post on the outside. Ouch! He turns it around. He's setting the chair up, wedging it between the ropes. Oh my goodness, 
dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Lands him with a spine buster. Quickly, the cover. Kick out just in time. Not yet. can do some serious damage. It might be worse than being hit with a steel chair. And he's taking this to the outside now. About to introduce some metal into the mayhem in the form of the trash can. Right the button. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. He saw that one coming. Big four. Oh. Uh-oh, from where? Solid impact. Heads out of the ring. What's next? Outside the ring now. He has no need to rush. No gut punch. Nasty. No clue what he hopes to find down there. Determination in his eyes, and now a kendo stick in his hands. Slot go behind. Uh oh. Reigns averts the attack. Undertaker. Elevated wrist lock. Elevated wrist lock. The Undertaker with a vintage tombstone. There won't be any coming back for the rock now. That's gotta be it. Arms trap. Endless knee strikes. Here's the pump handle. Suplex. Launched. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. We've seen the sledgehammer many times before, and it has never been a pretty sight. He's heading back to the ring. Ooh. Sledgehammer to the He's going for the pin. This could be it. And these two really do make the perfect pair. Two men with one common goal can be a dangerous thing. They're putting the entire locker room on notice.